Hallelujah to the Lamb. Why songs are so much better than sermons. Welcome. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. It's always good to be with you. I'm glad you always come prepared to listen and to take notes. Today, we are going to have a good time in the Bible. The last time that we were together, we talked about the scriptures behind the song, When the Glory Comes Down. Let me ask you, how did you do in hearing and recognizing those scriptures when they came up in the song? Were you surprised to find that there were so many scriptural references in such a short song? Was it as difficult as you first thought it would be? Or did you hear them right away? Remember, we are trying to understand the answers to these questions. Why are songs so much better than sermons? Why are the messages in our songs so much easier to remember than the points of a sermon? And why is music so important to our services and style of praise and worship? We have talked about the time constraints of music and how songs need to bring out emotions and feelings as well as to convey meanings. One way to do this is by the use of hooks and choruses, which is another way of saying that it has to be easy to sing, easy to remember, and allow room for the musicians and singers to add their own personal touches and anointing to the words and the music. Another way is to use events from the Bible that most people are somewhat familiar with, and when they hear them in a song, it is easy for them to remember the lessons as they go about their weekly routines. When a song is well written and anointed by the Lord, the ideas and concepts can be taught, learned, and remembered easily. What happens is that when we allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us, he will take the concepts, verses, and choruses in the song and unlock them in our spirits. And what took less than three minutes to sing about will be expanded into a deeper understanding of Scripture that can take several hours to really explain and cover in a typical sermon. Today, I want to share with you another one of our newest songs, Alleluia to the Lamb. It is very easy to play, very easy to sing, and recalls several excellent events as recorded in the New Testament. All of our songs are available on Song Select, and we even have the lyrics and the chord charts available. You can listen to and download the song from our website, which I'll list in the description area below this message. And all of our songs are available on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, Facebook, and most of the other places that you are familiar with. Search for us under the name Pastor Stephen Allen Wiley. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the scriptures that were used in this song. Let's start out in the New Testament and turn to Revelations 19, verses 1 through 9. Revelations 19, 1 through 9. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he has judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and has avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Alleluia! And her smoke rose up forever and ever. 
And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice, and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he said unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Staying in Revelations, let's take a look at Revelations chapter 7, verses 11 through 17. Revelations chapter 7, starting with verse 11. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, and kindreds, and people, and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne, and about the elders and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might. Be unto our God for ever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. He said unto me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, Neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes. Let's jump over to the Old Testament, to the book of Job. The book of Job, chapter 38, and let's read verse 7. Job 38, 7. When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Okay, you're doing great keeping up with me. Let's go back to the New Testament, to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2 verses 13 and 14. Luke chapter 2, starting with verse 13. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, 
goodwill towards men. Now, back to the last book in the Bible, Revelations, chapter 5, and we want to read verses 8 through 13. Revelation chapter 5, verses 8 through 13. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders. And the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven, and on the earth, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing, and honor, and glory, and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb, forever and ever. Over in the book of Psalms in the Old Testament, in Psalms 148, verses 1 through 5, Psalms 148, verses 1 through 5, we read, Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights. Praise him, all ye angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, you heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Pray, let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. And now let's back up a few chapters and go over to Psalms 103, verses 20 and 21. Psalms 103, verses 20 and 21. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandment, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. One of my favorite scriptures is found in 1 Chronicles chapter 29, and it's verses 11, 12, and 13. Let's take a look and see what it says. 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 11, 12, and 13. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness, and the power, and the glory, and the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all. And in thine hand is power and might, and in thine hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. Now therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thee, 
thy glorious name. Now back to the New Testament, and let's read 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 19 and 20. Let's read that together. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 19 and 20. But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. And moving over in Revelations chapter 12, verse 11, we read Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. And a few chapters earlier in Revelations chapter 5, verse 6, Revelations 5, verse 6, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all of the earth. And now finally, turn back to the book of Psalms, chapter 107, and we'll read verses 1 and 2. Psalms 107, verses 1 and 2. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So, why are songs so much better than sermons? Because in about four minutes, we can sing and build up our most holy faith and be reminded of at least a dozen or more scripture passages in this song. And we will actually remember the main ideas as we go through this next week singing and humming the songs. So until the next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, and prosper you as you follow hard after him. Be blessed by our new song. Drop us a comment and tell us what you think. Here's your song. Friend, 
Hallelujah. 